What's up guys, my name is Takia. I'm an orthodontic assistant and today I'm going to go over a braces routine. So after every bonding appointment, which is an appointment where patients get all of their braces, as an orthodontic assistant, I do have to go over how to care and maintain for your braces. So I will basically go into detail what we tell our patients in order to keep up with their braces. I do orthodontic and dental videos every Tuesday and I also do content with my son and my husband every Friday. So make sure you're subscribed to our channel and you like this video so you don't miss out. All right, let's go. So before patients leave after getting their braces at their bonding appointment, we do give them a bunch of goodies and a water bottle and here is everything that will be enclosed in the water bottle. So we will and go over every item with the patient and show them how to use each item. So we do use this typo dot that I have here in order to demonstrate how to use each item. So this is our typo dot. So of course we have a toothbrush in the water bottle. So with this toothbrush, I will show my patient how to brush correctly with the braces. So initially, I will basically pick up one part of the typo dot. So here I'm going to pick up the upper and I will begin brushing above the brace in circles. And I will basically explain to my patient how you have to brush above in circles. And then I will go to the lower of the upper and brush in circles as well. Explaining to the patient that they must brush below and above the brace. I will show them the incorrect way to brush, which is straight across. And tell them that they are not supposed to brush that way. And that they should brush above in circles and below in circles. I also stress the fact that it's really important to brush in circles on your gum tissue. So here I'm just brushing on the gums. That's really important. Once I complete that, I will also just demonstrate again with the lower using the typo dot. I will brush in circles below the brace and above the brace. Again, like before, I will show them the incorrect way as well, which is straight across and tell them that's not the way. Also really important to get the gum tissue on the lower as well brushing in circles. Next inside the bottle we have a proxy brush which is a small brush which is this purple brush that I have here. This is really a good thing to have when you have braces because you can use this proxy brush to get in between the wires when you typically cannot get in between the wires with the normal brush. So with this small little brush, you can just go right in between each bracket in between the wire up and down, getting any food or plaque that you won't normally get with a toothbrush. So here again, I'm just gonna demonstrate. You just take the brush in between the braces and in between the brackets, sliding up and down. And we do give these to our patients, but you can find these in your local stores, but they are somewhat different than the ones that we carry. Next, we have your toothpaste. Here we just give Crest, but it typically does not matter what type of toothpaste you use. We also have two types of mouthwash. This first mouthwash, which is your ACT, is just general mouthwash. Typically you can use whichever you like, but we also do give a second mouthwash, which is used for mouth sores, which is a peroxyl rinse. Next, we do have a small thing of floss that we do give every patient as well. Along with the floss, we do give each patient floss threaders and they typically come in this small little bag that I have here. And the floss threaders, they do look like 
a blue thread which we have here which is pictured right there on the package so once you take out one floss threader you want to take a long piece of floss like i have here and tie a knot to the loop of the floss threader once you get that completed you want to take the tail of the floss threader which is this end here and you want to take the end and just put it through one section here once you get the tail through you want to go ahead and just pull the end of it so you have the floss in between the wire and the brackets once you get that done you can just go ahead and floss as normal up and down in between the teeth once you get that done you'll just pull the floss all the way through once you get that done you do have to go back and do each section the same way taking the end of the tail like i have here through the next section pulling it through once you get that done you can go ahead and floss up and down as normal so this does take a while so we do reiterate to our patients that you have to spend more time brushing and flossing because it does take more time and when you spend typically maybe two minutes brushing you want to spend maybe five minutes brushing and make sure that you're brushing and flossing daily. Next, we have your wax. So your wax is used typically when the braces become irritable on the lip and if you have a wire poking in your cheek. Also, for example, say if you get a busted lip and it's rubbing across that metal bracket, that can be really irritable as well and you definitely would want to use your wax. So once you get the wax open, you want to just take a small pinch of it so you get a small amount once you get a good amount that's not too much, typically like this, you'll just ball it up with your fingers, just like this. Once you get it balled up, you'll just take the wax and you'll just mash it directly onto the bracket, just like this, pushing it with your finger. So then once you get that mashed on and you go to rub your lip across that, it will be smooth. So that's typically say if the bracket is irritable in it, or if you have like a busted lip scraping across that metal bracket on that side. Also if you have a wire poking on that side, again you would just take a small pinch of this wax. Once you get that, you'll just go ahead and ball it up with your fingers like I have here. And you just take the wax and mash it directly on the back where that wire is poking and place it there. We do recommend using the wax for a poking wire, but we do always remind our patients to call us if you have a wire poking because we will cut it. But in the meantime, they can use this wax material while they're making the way over here. To take the wax off, you just take a small pinch of the corner, just like this, and it'll come right off. I'll demonstrate that again here in the front, just taking a small pinch of it with my finger, and it comes right off. We also do put chapstick in every patient's water bottle, something that I forgot to show you guys. Next, we also have this white sheet here, which is really, really important. With this white sheet, it basically will give you typical things that you can and cannot eat. So you want to stay away from anything that's too hard and too chewy. Those are the two things that I always remind the patients to stay away from. So anything hard like granolas or chewing on ice or break the braces, anything chewy like Tootsie Rolls or Laffy Taffies will get stuck in the braces. So those are the two things that we always stress to patients to remember. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.